Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sam Noble 198 again, and today I am doing another video. It is video today, and I am going to be showing you all everything I got for Christmas this year and around Christmas. Now, uh, before I even get into that, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hope you all had a great uh, Christmas this year, or even if you don't celebrate Christmas, hope you had a great day. And and yeah, so hope you all had a great holiday and Happy New Year. I'm gonna do a New Year's video soon, but. Right now, I'm going to show you guys everything I got for Christmas this year and around that. So, firstly, Lee, before I even get to that, let me just say, I did get a lot of cool stuff this year. Um, didn't I, The biggest thing I'm going to show you is like not gaming related, but it's more going to help this channel, I feel like, in the future. But anyways, let's get into everything I got for Christmas. So, starting off, uh, I'm going to show you all the Legos, because I actually did get some Legos. Uh, uh, I got a Lego set for my partner, and they got me a Lego BD-1 set. Now, BD-1, in case you don't know, is the droid from Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order. It was actually featured in Mandalorian. It wasn't BD-1. It was uh, <clears throat> it was another model of BD-1. So it wasn't the BD the BD-1 we all know and love from Jedi. It was actually a different model. In fact. I actually did build this set already, and here it is. Isn't he cute? I love him. He was really fun to build, and he was definitely a really interesting build. Um, I haven't really gotten a Lego set like this in a long time, but I really love this guy. BD-1's adorable. Just look at that face. He looks like Wally almost, with like chicken legs. But yeah, I love it. It was really fun to build. I actually took a couple nights. To, it took me two nights to finish building him. I stayed up kind of late on a... What it was? It was... I stayed up late on, like, Thursday night just trying to build him because I had a really long day on Thursday. And, uh, yeah, so, built him. He was great to build. And I also got, should show this up, probably mentioned, and I just dropped some underwear I got. I also got underwear. But I also got this really soft uh, blanket. I've actually been using this the last couple nights. It's it's super soft, man. I, I, I love this blanket. It's really nice. It goes work great with my bed, and I've been using it. I've been using it a lot the last few days. And anyways, back to Legos. And I'm... ADHD right now, but I'll show off everything I got. But next thing I got, I actually got this from my parents. Um, I didn't really, I, I knew these things were out there, but I didn't expect to ever get one. And my dad did got me, my mom and dad both agreed to get me the Commander Cody, uh, Lego Commander Cody head bust, uh, which honestly I gotta say, this is pretty awesome. Um, I am looking forward to building this because um, I do like Commander Cody in the Clone Wars. My dad said, I wasn't sure if I should get you this. Or Captain Rex, which I, I love Captain Rex, but I wouldn't mind having some more Commander Cody stuff. Um, I really do like Commander Cody. I remember he was one of the first clones I really remember knowing of, like, and especially when Revenge of the Sith. So, really happy to own this. I'm actually going to be building this probably, not tonight. I'm probably going to relax tonight after I'm done this video. But yeah, this is pretty awesome, and I'm really happy to get it. So, it was from my, my dad, so, well, my mom and dad, so. Next up, I'm going to show you some miscellaneous stuff I got. Uh... So let me see, where's the... I do have two things. These were supposed to be in my stocking. But uh, I guess my parents were like, that. Eh, we just decided not to. Because really, the stockings were kind of... My mom was like, I'm not doing stockings this year. So that was okay. But I got a 10-in-1 um, multi-tool kit and flashlight. This is actually... I did open this earlier because when I tried doing the previous video. But this includes stuff like... This includes stuff like... Uh, Let's take a look at what it includes because I'm not super too familiar, but let's take a look. Comes with this uh, multi purpose pocket survival tool, it's a can opener, knife edge, which yeah, it feels sharp. Yeah, it does feel pretty sharp. It's like a, a ruler, cap opener, opener uh, four position wrench, and then for various size, nut, size nuts and bolt head, butterfly wrench, not sure what that is, saw blade. It, Need any direction, ancillary and diction, two position wrench, and lanyard keyhole. This is going to be helpful whenever I'm in a stretch. Oh, I see it now. There's the roller part, so put that away. It also comes with a little flashlight. I'm not going to show you the flashlight, but it's like a golden color. It's right there. There, let me put that back in the thing. I'm probably going to put that on my uh, lanyard for when I go to go out and like, like travel well so there's the first so that's the first of miscellaneous stuff and then i got some just uh like you know 
tear stuff like uh, toenail clippers and uh, tweezers, which I'll need. Don't really need to show you anything like that. Now let's get into the clothes. I actually did get some clothes this year. Uh, it was definitely more of a quiet year when it comes to clothes. Um, firstly, uh, these are some socks. Uh, I got some Christmas socks. These are mooses on them. I actually wore these tonight. Um, I was uh, <clears throat> I was actually like oh, I actually went out to dinner earlier with my family. We had dinner at my family with my grandparents. So uh, and then I got another pair of socks. These have penguins on them. So that's pretty cute. I actually did wear theirs. Wait wear those earlier can't speak right now jesus and then i got a couple of christmas shirts well my other christmas shirt's dirty because i wore it last night and i got a uh this is slang it it says uh, stay fly work hard play harder it's a pretty cute christmas shirt i'll definitely be wearing this probably maybe at the end of the year maybe tonight later i'm not sure but it's pretty cool next up for clues um i got this for seat for my secret santa back in a couple weeks ago it was like uh the like like what was it i got this on the 11th uh december 11th but i got a crisp a shirt that says my needs are simple it's video game controller cats and a cookie love food so and i thought this was a really cute shirt so once again thank you to my secret santa and once again thank you to everybody who got me stuff for this year now moving on to oh, i almost forgot to show you this i got a little Pin. This is also for my secret Santa. If you want to watch the video before I talk about this, you can. It's up on my YouTube channel. Now, let's move on to the gaming stuff uh, before I get into the big thing. Now, I did get about five games this year, but not a whole, which wasn't a whole lot. I actually was going to get more, but I was like, nah, I'll just pull off. I've got enough for, for right now. So, first game I got was Final Fantasy 3 on Nintendo DS. I was actually looking for this for a very long time, and now I finally have, and I can play it. I think my brother used to have it when we were kids, but I think he might have sold it. I, I cannot remember for the life of me. And what was that? It was the box that just dropped for BD1. Now let's move on to the Switch games. I got two Switch games, two PS5 games, and one DS game. I didn't get any Series X games this year, mostly because there wasn't a whole lot on Series X that I wanted to get on Series X. So, yeah, let's get into the Switch games. So the first two so the Switch games I got are... Super Mario RPG, I'm actually going to be playing this. I've been kind of craving another RPG after finishing um, after finishing uh, Sea of Stars. So, love that game. And I'm really excited to play this. I actually opened it already because I was like, you know, I'll play a little bit of it. And then I got New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. This is the this is a port of the, I guess, uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii U on the Wii U. Great title. And I am excited to play these two. Um, I've been in a Mario mood this year. Like, this has been the year of Mario, if you feel you know, like. There's been so many Mario games out, it's kind of insane. And, but that's okay. You had the movie, you had Mario Wonder, and then you had... Uh, <clears throat> what else did you have? You had the movie. I don't know why I forgot about the movie there for a sec. It was one of the biggest films of the year. Next up, the PS5 games. I got Assassin's Creed Mirage. I got... This is the... Deluxe Edition, which I was actually really surprised I got this. I didn't expect to get the Deluxe Edition, but I am excited to play this because I heard it got a little bit of mixed reception, but I did want to play it for myself to see how it was. I heard some people loved it, some people hated it. I do want to play it for myself and gain their own opinion. I didn't get it at launch because I was like, I'll wait. I got Spider-Man, Alan Wake, and Mario to play, so I'm excited to play this, though. I do love Assassin's Creed, and I heard it goes back to the basics of the franchise, which to me is a good thing. And the last game I got for PS5 was Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I decided to get this yesterday because I was interested in this, but I didn't really want to pick it up at launch. I was going to wait a couple weeks. And thankfully, by the time it was already out, um, by the time it was at, by the time like Christmas was rolling around, this was already on sale for like, to like 20 to $30 off. I think it was $30 at one point, but they dropped it to $20. So I decided to get it for 50 which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I'm looking forward to playing this, because I do I do like the Avatar world, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the movies. I like the movies, but I wouldn't say they're the most groundbreaking out there. They're good movies. Visually, they're gorgeous. Story-wise, they're okay, I think. So those are the games I got. Then I also got two video game-themed books. And uh, these are interesting. These are also from My Secret Santa. These were the second things I got. And the first book I got was Final Fantasy uh, FF Dot, the pixel art of Final Fantasy, which is the just by Dark Horse, and these are uh, different uh, pixel artwork of all the characters from the Final Fantasy series, like 9, 10, 11, 
seven. I I do want to play games like Final Fantasy three. One of the uh, Final Fantasy six, I should say, that's what it's called in the you in the in Japan, but they called it three here in the states for whatever reason. So really happy to have that. Cause it's actually pretty interesting to look through. Next up, in terms of the final thing I got for gaming, and that is the Ultimate 90s Retro Gaming Collection. Also, I should point out, I got Final Fantasy 3 and uh, um, Super Mario Brother U Deluxe from a friend. So if you're watching this, thank you for those. This is pretty awesome. I know I said thank you to him already. But anyways, this is the final thing I got, which was the Ultimate 90s Retro Gaming Collection. It is a essential guide to gaming's raddest decade this book's actually pretty awesome um they got like stuff like top 10 best ps1 games uh best game boy games best sega genesis they go over stuff like banjo kazooie fighting games it's kind of it's an interesting book and then i'm looking right now there's a section about nba jam there's super super castlevania 4 really awesome uh, book that uh, really does go through the 90s and they got uh n64 games so it's a really cool book. I really do like looking through this because it kind of makes you wonder. Because I was born in 98. I was born right as the decade was starting to come to a close. I was born August of 98. So by the time I was I was old enough to really look into gaming, I felt like my time in this decade was gone. But I have played some games from the 90s. So that's a pretty awesome book. So, And the last thing, last but certainly not least, this is the biggest thing. And it is absolutely it's pretty heavy. I'm surprised by how heavy it is. I don't know. If it comes with the, uh, like, what is it, the, the, the condenser thing where you put, like, the thing in front of the mic to speak through it. And that is the Blue Yeti microphone. I've actually been really wanting a new microphone this year. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to ask for a new one for Christmas. And thankfully, my mom got me the Midnight Blue design. So I'm excited to finally have this mic because I do plan on doing more podcasts and stuff for 2023. And this is overall pretty awesome mike to have and yeah so pretty excited to have them and unbox it probably next so anyways that concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it once again i am absolutely thankful for everything i got i got a lot this year which i appreciated so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video merry christmas and happy holidays and i will see you guys later also let me know what you got in the comments